Hi, I'm Bob Bowes. You are about to participate in the initial training program of the new Ecker Drug Floor Care Program. I stress that word new since this program will introduce our new approach to floor care in all of our stores. We have been evaluating this new floor care program for the past 18 months and we feel that it will bring many benefits to our company. First, this program will ensure that we have a consistent appearance throughout our chain. We will all be doing the same floor care procedures and using the same high quality floor care products from the SC Johnson Wax Company. Second, this corporate wide approach to floor care will deliver better control of our maintenance budgets. This will lead to better bottom lines in all of our stores. Finally, this new program will help to reduce our exposure to customer slip and fall claims and litigation. Johnson Wax will partner with Eckerd to defend these situations through their expert witness program. As you can see, there are many benefits to this new approach to floor care at Eckerd. We have all the pieces in place now to ensure the success of this initiative, but the most important part remains you. We need each of you to participate and commit to our Eckerd floor care program. Together we can improve our appearance, lower our cost, and make our stores an attractive and safe shopping environment for our customers. Thanks, and good luck with the new Eckerd Floor Care program. Thanks, Bob. Hi, I'm Burt Carrier, National Account Manager for SC Johnson Wax. You're about to see something that's brand new for Eckerd Drugs, and that's the new Eckerd Drug Floor Care program. For the first time in the history of Eckerd Drugs, you're gonna be a part of a comprehensive floor care program one that's designed to offer you three important things. One, the first thing is consistency of appearance no matter where the Ecker Drug Store is located. All of the stores will be doing the same procedures and will have the same procedures followed by the building service contractors when they come in to do their work. The second thing that it will offer to you is control of your maintenance budget. For the first time, you'll be able to know exactly how much money you're spending on your budget. You'll know what the money is being spent for, and you will also see the results that you're getting for those dollars that you spend. Ultimately, it's going to save you money and make your bottom line look better. And third, and probably the most important thing, it's going to give you security in the fact that with this program, your risk management and your liability window for slip falls will be greatly reduced because you will have a program that's been proven nationwide in retailers across the country. It's a great program and in partnership between Ecker Drugs and SC Johnson Wax, it's gonna be a program that's going to make your stores the best that they can possibly be and offer your customers a wonderful shopping experience. It's gonna be in two parts, the daily procedures for the in-store personnel and second part will be the procedures that all contractors will be expected to adhere to every time they come in your store. So it's a great program. Why don't we get started now? And let's take a look at what your responsibilities will be on a daily basis to make this the best program that Eckerd Floors could ever have. Hi, Jim. Hi, Bart. I'd like to introduce Jim Allred, the assistant manager at Store 582 in Jackson, Mississippi. Jim, I know you've had an opportunity to preview the new Eckerd Floor Care Program, and after seeing it, what do you think about it? I like it. I think it's a good program. I'm fixing to do the first step of the program, which is the store survey. Store survey? Now, wait a minute. Why is that the first part of your program? Well, I want to survey my floors and see what I'm up against, so that when I go to the back room to get my tools, I get the right ones to do the job right. You know, that's a key point. When you do any floor care program, the first part of a good program is the survey. If you don't take a few minutes, walk around the store and just check to see which types of problems you might run into, you're going to constantly be going back and forth, back and forth to the back room, trying to find the tools that you'll need to do the job right. So the survey is an important part of the program, and it's the first step in the new Eckerd Floor Care program. Tell you what, Jim, I'll go with you to finish the survey, and then I'll help you gather the tools in the back room. Okay. Good. Well, Jim, now that we've finished the survey of the floor and we've gathered together all of the uh, equipment that we will need to do tonight's work, uh, let's take a minute and share with everybody the tools that we found that we're going to need tonight. First of all, we're going to need a gum scraper or putty knife because we did have gummed labels and some chewing gum and some other unidentified things on the sales floor, but we'll use those to get that up tonight. The next thing we're going to use is our dust mop, and 
Well, as you can see, we've decided that this dust mop's just not going to work out tonight because of the amount of dirt that's already in it. So we're going to go to our clean dust mop tonight. While we're talking about dust mops, let me bring home one point to you. When you receive a dust mop that's wrapped in plastic, you need to take it out of the plastic, clip it onto a handle, and stand it in a corner and let it sit there overnight. When these come from the manufacturer, they have so much oil on those fibers that if you take it straight out of the plastic and put it onto the floor, you run the risk of leaving behind an oil film that could become slippery and it will definitely harm your floor finish. It will dull the shine off the floor and it'll make the floor harder to clean because it'll hold dirt actually into the floor. So always take your dust mops out of the wrapper, stand them in the corner and let them sit for at least overnight, 24 hours better, and you'll get the results that you need out of a dust mop. Another thing that we found we're gonna need tonight is our kitchen broom. Now, well, the reason for the kitchen broom is you just can't get around the checkout stands, around the displays, and up against the edges using just a dust mop. This will be used to pull all of those things out into an aisle, and then we'll use the dust mop to take everything from the aisles and bring it to the back room and off the sales floor. The next thing that we're going to need is our clean mop bucket. Now, you may notice that we've lined this mop bucket with a trash can liner, and there's a very good reason why we do that. With a mop bucket such as this being plastic, it has a tendency to hold chemicals into it after you've used it a while. The problem is, if you've used different chemicals, the one that you had in there yesterday may have an effect on the one you have in there today, and that too could harm your floors. So you want to put a trash can liner in, that way you know that the product that you're putting in, the fresh chemical solution, will not be impregnated with anything that comes from the bucket, and it won't be contaminated to the point that it'll harm your floor finish. You'll also see that Jim's already cleaned his ringer, and that's a good idea to do as well. You know, the, the another thing that he has is a good, clean mop. He's already washed it out. He's uh, allowing it to, to drain a little bit right now so that it's ready to use when he goes out on the sales floor. And then the final thing that Jim wants to do is he's already added four gallons of water into his mop bucket. And now it's time to put the, uh, the active ingredient that'll make that mop water do what it's supposed to do. And that's the Johnson's Accumix UHS Cleaner. Now this product comes in a very unique bottle, and as you'll see as Jim shows us, all you do is squeeze the bottle and it will fill the cylinder on top up with one ounce of the Johnson Cleaner. Now for the four gallons of water that we have in the mop bucket, this is all that you will need in order to do a thorough job of cleaning the floor. As Jim will show us, it's very easy to pour, and that's all that will pour out of the container at one time is that one ounce that's in the top of the bottle. So it makes measuring very, very easy and it eliminates the risk of overusing the chemical and damaging your floors once again. You know, if you have any questions about the procedures as to what you should or shouldn't do, as Jim has shown, we have posted in the back room the Eckerd Floor Care Wall Chart. Now this outlines every step that Jim's going to go through tonight as he does the daily procedures. And it also outlines what the contractors will be doing when they come into your store too. So if you have a question or if you're in doubt about a certain procedure, refer to your Eckerd Showplace Floor Care System wall chart. And if you need to get a little further in-depth detail, then refer to your Eckerd Floor Care Manual. This has all of the details that you will need step-by-step, -step, in depth, and will show you how to have the best looking floors around. Well, we've got everything we're gonna need now, Jim, to do our job for tonight, so we will take this out to the floor. But before we do, there's one other thing that I wanna mention to you. During the day, during the sales day, in the event that you should have a slippery situation where someone spills something on your floor and you have to go out and clean it up, always post the wet floor caution signs. This is one of the most important tools that you will have in your store. When you do that, you're warning the customer that there could be a slippery situation and you're also protecting yourself from liability with slips and falls. You should never mop a floor during the business day without first posting the wet floor caution signs. It's also a good idea if you've got a real rainy day, place these next to the front entrance so that you're warning people ahead of time that there could be that possibility of a slippery situation. We hope not, but you never can tell. And by posting this, you're helping to protect Eckerd's and you're helping to protect your store. And most important of all, you're helping to protect your customers as well. Okay, Jim, I guess we're ready now to get started. So why don't we go on out onto the floor and start the nightly procedures? Okay.
now that Jim has gathered all of the necessary tools in order to do a professional job, he starts on the sales floor by beginning with the sweeping using the kitchen broom. Jim uses the broom to sweep out around the edges, by the displays, and underneath the checkout stands. He also carries a putty knife in order to remove gummed labels, chewing gum, or any other object that's stuck to the floor. The putty knife or gum scraper can also be used for removing buildups around the edges. It's important that Jim pulls everything out to the center of the floor before beginning the dust mopping operation. By using the kitchen broom to pull the dust and debris out to the center of the aisle, it makes the dust mopping operation simple and quick. Once Jim has completed dust mopping the entire sales floor, he'll then be ready to do the damp mopping operation using the Johnson Wax Accumix UHS Cleaner. The next step in the Eckerd Drug Floor Care Program's daily procedures is the damp mopping operation. Jim took special care to ensure that he removed as much dirt and debris as he possibly could during the sweeping and dust mopping operations. And now for that final cleanup, he will use a fresh solution of Johnson's Accumix UHS cleaner. Jim makes sure that he works along the edges and covers the entire sales floor. During the time of the damp mopping operation, should the mop water become dirty, that, is, that will be the point in time to change the mop water and the solution. The longer you work with a fresh solution and clean equipment, the better your floor will look. Well, there you have it. Those are the new Eckerd Floor Care Program in-house procedures. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, boy, that's going to take a lot of effort to do that. But I guarantee you one thing. If you do take the time and you do the job right, you will have the best-looking stores around. And that's the purpose of this whole program. You know, it's been proven time and time again by every magazine in the United States that deals with the retail trade that the number one priority of a customer as to what they look for when they choose a store to shop in, it's appearance. How clean is the store? How well stocked is it? And overall, how good does it look? The purpose of this new program is to ensure that every Eckerd store, no matter where it's located, has the best looking floors and the best looking stores around. If you will take the time and do the job right, I guarantee you that your stores will stand tall, and when they do that, you'll have more customers, you'll have more profits, and you'll have a better bottom line. You're going to be happy, the company's going to be happy, and most important of all, the customer is going to be happy. You know, there's another part to this program, and that involves the building service contractors. We're going to take a look now, and you're going to see firsthand which procedures that they are expected to perform every time they come into your store. It's an interesting program for them, and it's an interesting program for you. But together, working together, we can have the best floor care program in the United States. I honestly believe that, and I guarantee you, you'll find those results as part of the new Eckerd floor care program. The second part of the new Eckerd Floor Care Program involves the building service contractors. They play a vital role in the success of this program. On each and every service, the contractor should first check in at the front service desk with the manager and sign the vendor sign-in sheet. It's at this point in time that the manager will inform the contractor of any special needs that they have noticed. And it's also a good idea at this point in time for the manager and the contractor to walk the entire sales floor to ensure that any particular problem areas can be dealt with on that night's service. Another area the contractor has responsibility for cleaning is the pharmacy. However, this requires special procedures since the law does not allow anyone to enter the pharmacy area without a registered pharmacist being on duty and present during the entire cleaning operation. This is not only done for the protection of Eckerd Drugs and their security, it is also for the security of the contractor and their employees. It's important at this point in time that the contractor thoroughly sweeps removes all debris from the pharmacy area, and then thoroughly damp mops the floor with the properly diluted chemicals. 
One of the last duties the contractor will perform while cleaning the pharmacy area is the collection and removal of all trash. Excuse me, one last thing. I'll need to check that before you leave. All righty. However, it is company policy that nothing will be removed from the pharmacy area without first being inspected by the pharmacist. Once the trash has been collected, the contractor will put a fresh, clean can liner into the garbage receptacle and then replace it into its proper position. Thank you very much, Kim. I'll see you next time. Have a good evening. Right. Once the initial walkthrough has been completed, the contractor then begins the procedures as outlined in the Eckerd Floor Care Manual. The contractor, as with any good program, begins by surveying the floor, then using the kitchen broom removes all litter and debris from the edges of the shelving, beneath the displays, and around the checkout stands. The contractor also uses a putty knife or a gum scraper to remove gummed labels, chewing gum, or any other substance from the floor. The putty knife can also be used to remove buildups along the edges. It's critical that the contractor do a thorough job of removing all litter and debris from the areas that cannot be reached by dust mopping. After pulling everything out into the center of the aisle, the contractor then uses a clean dust mop to remove all the litter and debris to the back room of the sales floor. Once this job has been completed, the contractor is then ready to move on to the auto scrubbing operation. Once the contractor has thoroughly and completely swept, dust mopped, and used the putty knife to remove all gummed labels and any other foreign substances from the floor, they are then ready to use the automatic scrubber to do the deep cleaning procedure. It's very important that the contractor use the Johnson Wax Ultra High Speed Cleaner properly diluted one cap full for each eight gallons of cool water in the solution tank of the auto scrubber. However, there are places within the store that the contractor will not be able to use the automatic scrubber. It's important that the contractor use the Johnson Wax Cleaner mixed one cap full for each two gallons of cool tap water in the mop bucket in order to clean around the gondolas, also around the cash registers, and around displays that cannot be removed. It's important that they also trail mop behind the automatic scrubber to ensure that any wet areas are thoroughly picked up prior to leaving a particular aisle. Now that the contractor has completely cleaned and scrubbed the floor, it's time to add that final finishing touch, burnishing or buffing of the floor. The new Eckerd Floor Care program includes Johnson Wax Trailblazer, a floor maintainer. This product is specially formulated with polymers and cleaners to enhance the shine and increase the longevity of the floor finish. There are a few things that the contractor needs to be careful of when doing any furnishing or buffing operation. One, they need to make sure that their equipment is in proper operating condition and that they are equipped with clean pads. It's also important to note that when using ultra high speed equipment, it should never be allowed to run in place because this will cause severe damage to the floor tiles. It's also important that the contractor operating the equipment be certified and understand how to use the equipment in order to achieve the maximum results. Now that the contractor has completed all of the floor care procedures as outlined in the new Eckerd Floor Care Manual, the final step will be a walkthrough of the store with the store manager. It's at this point in time that the contractor will point out to the manager any potential problems that should be developing and what the proper procedures will be in order to prevent those from becoming major problems. It's also at this point in time that the manager will point out to the contractor any areas that he or she would like to see taken care of in the next and upcoming services. At this point in the procedure, the contractor will provide to the manager of the store a form outlining the Johnson Wax products which will be needed for the subsequent services to come. Well, there you have it. That's the new Eckerd Floor Care Program. As you can see, it's a very comprehensive program, but we know that when it's followed, it will provide consistent appearance throughout the chain. Not only that, it will also provide for you control of your maintenance budget dollars, and it will provide the cleanest, nicest looking shopping environment for the customer. I'd like to introduce to you right now Dave Settle, who's the district manager for the state of Mississippi, and also George Cobb, who's the store manager for Store 582 in Jackson. 
Dave, now that you've seen the program and been involved with it, what are your impressions? What do you think about it? I think it's a great program. It creates an Eckerd show place. Uh, it's total involvement from the corporate office down to the associates in the field, and particularly with store managers like George Cobb. There you hear it. These are the people that have been involved with the program, and they're sold on it. And I know that once you get involved, you too will be sold on the new Eckerd Floor Care program. There's one other person that we haven't heard from yet who has a real interest in this program and has been involved with it since day one. That's Ray Morgan. Why don't we hear from Ray now? Thanks, Bert. What you've seen today actually began over a year ago in Orlando, Florida, with five store managers and a district manager. And we were looking for what do you need from a good floor care program. And every one of them said, we need training. We need help. We need to know what to do in our stores, how to do it, when we should do it. They said a nice training manual would help. Maybe a wall chart with some step-by-step -step daily procedures. And even more important, a training film that will help us in dealing with the contractors and with our own associates. So what you've seen today, I think, covered all of those areas. But more important, what I've seen today is a team being born. We're working together with Johnson's Wax, with the corporate office, with all the store personnel, and I think what we have now is a program that's going to give us the consistency we need. Every store from Texas to New Jersey is going to be doing the same program. The main difference is going to be you. And that's where I think Eckerd's will always succeed is with their employees. So we're looking forward to a good year and good luck to all of you.